Hello. As you can see, life can be complicated. Broken stud in the engine head. There was sticking noise coming from the engine. My first thought was bearings. But I found out at the University of YouTube that this kind of noise can be caused by the leaky exhaust manifold. Sure enough, the manifold is cracked, but the gaskets are even worse. This one is from cylinder number one. Well, what can you expect after 30 years of service? The pack of new ones. I just touched this stud with my fingers and it separated from the manifold. It was held by the manifold. The rest of it is in the head. Sweet. I checked my options. Pull the head off and take it to a machine shop. Or use some kind of extraction techniques. First one. This spiral extractor. Drill a hole in the stud. Tap in the extractor. And screw it out. Simple. Well, not really. If the stud was sticking out, then yes. But when it is buried inside, the extractor can expand the stud and jam it inside the opening. There would be a danger of breaking the extractor and then good luck removing it. I can drill it out. But guiding drill by hand, straight. You can hit the bullseye with this kind of device, but no depth guidance. They say, weld a nut on it. Okay, I will. But before that, I will soak this thing with penetrant and tap it a little. It pays off to have a fleet of the same cars and extra few in parts in my garage. So I pull this junk head out of my stash and will practice the welding nut technique. A piece of stud goes into the head. I build up some metal on top of the stud and then weld the nut. The stud and the nut became one. The stud gets all the weld. The aluminum head acts as a heat sink and it doesn't melt. A few tries and I learned that drilling out nut threads help the weld to stick. I set the maximum current on my welder the wire speed set by trial and error. I use shielding gas, argon and CO2. Bumped up the volume since I weld outside. Not only my welder is Ferrari red, but also my fire extinguisher. It is loaded and I will not hesitate to use it. It is going to be open heart surgery. I removed what I could, but there are still some electric harnesses and rubber hoses. To protect all of it from sparks and molten metal, I wet my pants and will use them to cover it. This wire brushed bolt will act as the welding ground. The nut is ready. Exhaust port covered, pants still wet. Let's do it. The nut is welded on. Not this time. Another try. Another try.
another one. This time for sure. No. Oh, I'm going nuts. Let's try to weld it with flux core wire, no gas. Same current, slower wire feed. Maybe it will give better heat penetration. Cut wire. Take off the nozzle. The tip out. Remove the gas wire. and secure it to the spool. This one was O25. The flux core is O35. Changing wire, change the tip. No gas welding, change the polarization. New wire in. Easy. I don't want to unwind it accidentally. I must flip the wire feeder roll. Good. Hold the gun in a straight line to feed the wire through. New tip. And the nozzle. Wire tension set. Clap the flap. It took longer to weld on this nut. Nope. Let's try something new. A piece of thick metal plate. Let's trace stud's position. Measuring distance. I know, I know, I should not use the caliper for this. And it sits on three studs. And for the fourth one, I will screw in this long stud that will hold this threaded bushing perpendicularly to the plate. Let's weld it on. Okay, goes deep into the head, no problem. Let's move it to the car.
I use this extra bolt at the end of the plate to hold it flat to the surface. I hope that quarter inch drill will be enough to fish out the remaining threads after drilling. The opening in the bushing is 1764, quarter inch drill is too loose. This copper sleeve corrects the problem. I put some engine oil on the sleeve. Now, how deep to drill? Marking the drill. Everything is ready. Let's check it one more time. I stop drilling often to clear the shavings. I can see the threads, but the tap is not going in. I will drill it with 1764. Here I mark the top how deep can I go in. I don't want to force it and break now. The old thread is out. It calls for a happy dance. Everything ready to be put back together. And obviously, I have a good exhaust manifold in my parts collection.